Hi. We are going to learn the B low Korean mode 7, the fifth position of the part number 5. The, the low Korean is created by the C major scale. The C major scale is a very special scale. The low Korean mode 7 is the 7 degrees of the C major scale. You can count it C, D, E, F, G, A, B. The, sev the 7 degree. The key of B low Korean is the only keys that has all natural note or natural tones. The 11 remaining other keys we need to apply accidental to the steps according to the Locrian mode 7 formula. Let's turn the note on. The Locrian mode 7 formula is half, a whole, a whole, a half, a whole, a whole, and a whole. So half step is between the first and the second and half step between the fourth and the fifth. Let it play. On the right fretboard, the tonics are the roots on 4 string 9th fret. Walk up the step according to the Locrian mode 7 formula. B to C is a half, C to D is a whole, D to E is a whole, E to F is a half, F to G is a whole, G to A is a whole, A to B is a whole. From tonic to tonic or from root to root, the solid red, the B, that one octave. The low green mode. 7 has 7 notes or 7 tones. The black note, they are belong to above octave. The blue note, they are belong to below octave. If you play all the notes on the right fretboard, you are playing 17 notes or 17 tones. 3 octave range. The blue note, below octave, the red note, the main octave, the black note, above octave. Let's display degree, display interval, display note. The left fretboard is a fingering fretboard. You see I use my index finger to play the tonics or the root on four string 9th fret and I use my ring finger to play the roots or the tonics on 2nd string 12th fret and set up the tempo faster and play it forward backward ascending descending for a minute or so to train my ear <laughs> I put it onto loop and let it play back and forth, back and forth to all the scale, the mode, the arpeggio that I learned to train my ear. Okay, set your metronome to the tempo that not so fast, not so slow, that you'll be able to play right on the beat. Use alternate picking. At first, focus your eye on the left fretboard, follow the fingering pattern. Try to remember the finger that played the tonic or the roots. Start playing with the D on 6th string, 10th fret. Walk up the step until you play the F on the 1st string, 13th fret. Now go back in descending until you play the D on 6th string, 10th fret. You just complete one run. 
Now start your drill over again. Try to stay five times without taking a break to train your finger. Make them strong. Try to play clean, play clear, play loud, play on the beat. When you get better, set your metronome up faster and start your drill over again. Just trying to play 10 runs without taking a break. This is how you train your finger to walk straight, to play clean, play clear. When you get really good, you may not have to look at the left fretboard, the fingering fretboard, because you remember it, the fingering you're using. If you try to do it every day, you should remember. Now start playing at any note. Put your feeling and your mood into your playing. Apply technique like bending the string, hammer off, hammer on, sustain, skip a couple notes, play one or two notes, repeat one or two notes, sustain. Try to come up with a lick. If you keep trying, sooner or later you will come up with your own lick. Well, I see you in next lesson. Next lesson we are going to talk about the B Logrian Mode 7 cage system. How the five individual or position connect to each other.